Hey guys, CSDL here as Abby Shuto from NCIS once again. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different and play a game on my phone uh, as Abby. I don't know if all of you are familiar with the new Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery game. Um, basically, it's a fun little game, you know, where you get to make your own character and then you get to be a student at Hogwarts and go through all the classes, meet all the cool professors, and at the same time you're solving the mystery of your missing brother, who apparently was a troublemaker, and was messing around with these cursed vaults, which are being opened again while you are a student and you are trying to find out who's opening them, what's in them, and why they're so secret and cursed, and hopefully find your brother at the end of it. I am currently in year four, so I'm coming in to the like, play, record thing a little late, just a tiny bit, um, but I felt that this would be an okay time to start, because this whole thing, this, throughout this whole game so far, I've been trying to get on Professor Snape's good side, okay? Because Professor Snape is my favorite. He was always my favorite in the books, in the movies, all of it. Always loved Professor Snape. And Professor Snape hates me. I think he hates everyone in the game, no matter what house or character you pick. I've been Slytherin house, too. That's my official... Pottermore House. I've taken it like three times. I always get Slytherin. I've accepted my fate. Professor Snape is my is my head of house dude, and he hates me in this game. He's so mean. He's just so mean. And there's no reason for such meanness. Like someone just needs to give him the biggest like the biggest hug. Just, just a big hug. But no, and he plays favorites with my literal arch nemesis, Marula Snide. I don't know why she hates me either, just because of my brother and the reputation that my brother had left for me, like, thanks, bro. But no, Marula is so mean. Like, does their meanness just, why they, why they get along? No. Anyway, so Snape, I was going to sneak out into the Forbidden Forest, right, as part of a quest, and Snape caught me, and he broke ha, ha, Marula's broom and not my broom, and I went to go and ask for the broom back, and he made it sound like, hey, I needed to pretend to hate you, and needed to look like I hated you for reals, let's talk after potions class. So maybe I'm going to finally have an answer to why Snape's been so mean to me and maybe he'll be nice to me and my favorite professor. I mean, Snape's mean to everyone. I understand that. It's just... I love Snape. Like, who doesn't love Snape? Turn to page 394. Like, who doesn't love Severus Snape? I even was able to take Polyjuice Potion and turn into Professor Snape, did not fool Dumbledore. The man's a genius, you just can't, you can't fool him. But I fooled Marula, and that was fun, and I got to prance around in Snape's cloak being like, I'm Professor Snape. Respect me. I'm terrifying. Yeah. It's like, Walking around being Gibbs, you know? Just don't make me Gibbs slap you. Ah, just, where's Tony? Just, or McGee, just, yeah. Get back to work, McGee. So fun. Okay, anyway. Game. Let's get going on that. Because that was my intention. I think Abby, as far as a Hogwarts house goes, I think she'd be a mix of like Slytherin and Hufflepuff because she's not a true Slytherin. She's way too, I suppose, nice. 
but she's got a lot of Slytherin cunning. So I think she'd be a Slitherpuff. Like, that, and that just sounds cool. You know, like Abby Slitherpuff. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So we begin our journey in the potions classroom. There is Professor Snape, looking all intimidating and terrifying as usual. There will be oh, no, there will be no foolish, foolish wand waving in this class. Love it. My best friend. His name's Rowan. A lot of this is really repetitive, so that's kind of why I didn't want to start recording earlier. Like it's oh, very interactive. Oh. Like the details are super great for like a little app game. It's pretty great. And, I mean, you can get by without having to spend any real money. Um, it just takes more time and you need a little bit of patience, and sometimes you and I don't have the patience. And, I mean, I've never put money into this, but then you just have to kind of restart your class or your task, whatever you were doing. <sighs> oh, and you get to meet Fang as a puppy. Like, how cute is that? If it doesn't, oh, it's gonna do a thing again, okay. Like, you need to see Fang as a puppy. He is just the cutest thing. And all of the spells you cast, you gotta like, play follow the line with your finger, and some of them are really complicated. And I've been messing them up every time, like when you have to pet a cat or an animal, and it's like this, this squiggly, like a sideways M, <sighs> gets me like every time now. <sighs> Happy rage quit. Here, um, cause you can leave class. Can do that. Gotta see Fang, he is so cute. When you touch certain items in each of the little, like, areas, like the castle grounds or the dungeon, um, like, like the stick, you touch the stick and it summons Fang and like you get to play fetch with Fang. How cute is that? That is so cute. Let me tell you. Okay. A good student. I don't think Snape appreciates it. He just walk out of his potions class. And I'm trying to be on his good side lately. And that's probably not the way to do it. Oh, the one, that girl, that's Marula. She's the one who hates me and nobody hates me. I'm adorable and I'm Abby and who could hate this? Like, who? Apparently Marula. And we're making a pretty purple potion. <sighs> I have no idea what, what's going on in there. No, but as a forensic scientist, I would probably be very good in potions class. I could be Snape's, like the teacher's pet. I could be teacher's pet. Ah. making that noise at me. It's going really fast. That concerns me. Normally they make you take like forever <laughs> to do these. Oh, a stir. See like the stirries with the swirls. I mess these up so much. See, I screwed that up. Now I need improvement and I don't get bonus points for being a teacher's pet and Oops. 
And then Snape just glares at you, like, and you get the saddest face of disappointment. <sighs> yeah, I'm not disappointed because it's not my fault. I blame Maruba. Okay, yeah, I know it was my fault. Those like little heart or shield and book attributes, they help you when your interactions with people, like certain options unlock the more levels you get with your attributes. Oh come on, I so nailed that one. I think the game cheats you. I nailed that one. Now he's gonna play on me again. But I got full stars, I get all the bonus thingies, and now I get to talk to Snape. You said Madame Rigpick has been watching me. She views you as competition, and she has made a career out of eliminating her competition. She wants to kill me? She wants to kill me? What? Oh my goodness. No! That's t No! I can't blame her for that. Mm, grumpy face. Did he just roll his eyes at me? I can, however, ask you to help me uncover her true motivations for being at Hogwarts. Snape's asking me for help! It finally happened. He doesn't hate me. I knew it. I knew there was, like, love. Wait. Love, heart love. Isn't she helping with the cursed faults? Rick Pick is incredibly ambitious for a Gryffindor, even the cursed faults aren't enough for her. I believe she wants to seize control of Hogwarts and rid herself of anyone who may stand in her way. Like you and me? Oh, we're so the same, Snape. We are so the same. As much as it pains me to think of us as being the least bit similar in any way, yes. Oh, Snape. See, like, these options with the little, like, since I'm over level 19 with my courage, I can pick yes. Will you help me investigate Rake Pick? Yeah, totally! Of course, if you're right, I have to protect Hogwarts, not to mention myself. Yeah. Self-preservation is key in any magical school. Like, you gotta make sure you survive. Like, rule one. Good decision, Rain. I didn't believe you were capable of making one. It's like, you were so nice to me. And then, boom! In comes the Snape insult. That means it's really him and not an imposter. Yeah. Do as you're told, and you will be rewarded. How's Snape going to reward me with love? With hugs? If- Can I pick a Snape hug as a reward? I would totally take a hug from Snape. Yeah. Or are they gonna give me the broom back and let me, like, fly into the Forbidden Forest? Hmm. That's Marula's broom. That's not a reward for me, necessarily. Because then I have to give it back to Marula. And Marula's mean. And Marula needs a hug. Someone needs to give her a hug and, like, a big box of cookies. Because no one can be that grumpy. Maybe even a box of kittens. Because no one is grumpy when there's a box of kittens around. Oh. Fetch the listed potion ingredients in these specific places and times. All of, all of these ingredients are on the shelves right behind us. If Rakepick adheres to her routine since returning to Hogwarts, you will also find her in each of these locations. Oh, I'm stalking! Like, yeah, I'm a secret agent! Secret agent wizard Abby! Yeah! I'm gonna be such a good secret agent Abby! Yeah! Observe her behavior and report back to me. Yes, 
I am literally a wizard spy. <gasps> like, how cool is that? Snape is using me as a wizard spy. Good or bad, I'm not sure yet. Oh, spy on right pick. Get to the Great Hall immediately and find out everything you can about Drake Pick. Oh, let's go! Like, totes fun. Let's spy on her. Secret Agent Abby. Secret Agent Abby. Okay. Like, look how detailed this is, though. I mean, look at that. The little gargoyle thingies, and you got the little candles on the ceiling, like, it's great. Oh, and here's my group of friends. He was my friend, but he's been acting really suspicious lately. Hey, Ben, I'm glad to see you here. If you are, why? He's such a timid little Gryffindor. Well, for one, you're my friend, but for two, I need to sit with someone so I'm not so conspicuous. I have a great vocabulary. Now, I have a wonderful vocabulary. Snape wants me to grab honey for one of his potions, but between us, I'm also supposed to spy on Rakepick. First rule of spy 101 you don't tell people you're a spy. Oh, man, the character's being so dumb right now. You shouldn't do that, Sibel. I'm not really doing anything. We'll just sit and talk and hopefully I'll overhear something juicy. <sighs> yes, because eavesdropping is not really spying. What do you want to talk about? Do I talk about Professor Snape? Nothing. I don't need to talk about anything. I just need to pretend so that Rake Pig doesn't know I'm spying. Yeah, see, if I talk about Snape, I might reveal my plans, or I might reveal Snape's evil plans, and we can't reveal Snape's evil plans because he's scarier than this Rake Pick lady, who I think, she came in as a curse breaker, and she's trying to solve the mystery of the curse vault, and she's using you to help her do it, but, you know, she you can't really trust her because she's sneaky, and she's underhanded, and she uses underhanded tactics, so don't trust her. That sounds good. The only thing I'm not afraid of is nothing. He's kind of a scatty cat. Like, like McGee when he first started here at NCIS, you know, at, at NCIS. <sighs> McGee was kind of a scaredy cat. On the other hand, if you think about it, what's more terrifying than the absolute absence of life or existence? Well, now he's getting existential on us, dude. We're 14. Shh, it's okay. Just sit with me, Ben. I'm sure Red Pig will say something about her true motivations. Alright, so we got time. We need a star to pass. I don't think I have enough to completely finish this one. Then totally being a spy. Whisper to self. Please sit down, Hufflepuff student. I can't see right pick. <sighs> yes, Hufflepuff student. Don't block my view of my secret agent, Abby. That's just rude. Right pick over covering her mouth so I can't hear. Oh, wait, I think she's just yawning. Don't confuse a yawn with talking. That's like. <sighs> mean. Like. Uh, yeah, could have just been a yawn. <sighs> oh, and a new thing they've added in, you can watch little ads to get more energy back because you need energy to finish your school tasks or your secret agent spying because, I mean, every game, you know, you got something you gotta use to complete your tasks and you have little energy balls and without them yeah so the ad thing is new um which is great because 
Otherwise, the only way to get extra energy was to go and hit all those little, like, the stick that summons Fang, or portraits, or the guy that comes down the sled and hogs mead, or the spider web in the forbidden forest, the candle column thing. Um, but yeah, so there's about seven or eight, I think, that you can go and you can tap, and they'll give you an energy. Um, but with the addition of the ads, you don't have to wait so long. I mean, you still, because it takes four minutes for one energy to recharge, so you still gotta wait a while, but say you're almost done with that one task, and you just need, like, three more energy, like an ad, or you can go touch some paintings, and boom, you're done. But I don't think I'll be able to finish this one within a good amount of video time, so let's taste of what the game is like. Um, I'd like to do more with like the main quest stories, so that seems fun. Um, but I'll probably stop here for now because it'll take about three hours, well not really, maybe an hour and a half to complete this one. And don't have that kind of video time. So we'll stop there for now uh, while Abby is secret agent Abby. And I'm spying on Rake Pick and I'm spying on her for Snape. It's a good place to stop. Uh, if you want, you can check out the game Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, iTunes, App Store, or uh, Google Play, wherever you can get your apps from. I really enjoy it. It's uh, one of my favorite games to play on my phone right now because it's, well, there is a story, you know, it's a little also mindless, you know, just doing the tasks and the little squiggles. I mean, it's not complicated. And if you want to kill a little time, you can just pop it open and take a potions class or you can go and turn cats into goblets or goblets back into cats, whatever, you know, with McGonagall. Whatever class floats your boat. But as always, you know, thanks for watching. Abby will see you next time.